Hello, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be discussing about how are the World Cup qualifiers going so far, okay? So, we are up to the midpoint, pretty much, of World Cup qualifying, okay? We have the every team has played 8 games so far, and there's only 6 left more matches to play, okay? So, let's begin. Okay, so the World Cup qualifying table right now, as it goes out so far, looks pretty interesting, okay? There are lots of things that can happen, okay? So, yeah, let's continue. Okay, so let's start off with the be uh, reviewing all of the games, okay, that have gone so far in this November window, okay? So, in the November window, so we have started off with the, the four these four matches, okay? We all know about this one, okay? For the USMNT, it was amazing and for Mexico it was horrendous okay Canada it's getting that result in home I but they could have gotten a better result but I if you're a Canadian fan you can live with it okay Costa Rica I believe it was a hard result for them to take in okay so yeah Honduras it was pretty they had a tunnel lead they gave it up and for Panama this was an amazing game but for Honduras heartbreak since they are now missing the World Cup okay El Salvador versus Jamaica, amazing result for Jamaica as they are trying to hold on to any more dreams of getting to the World Cup, okay? Uh, the, this result for Jamaica is as well pretty good, on a, a draw against the USMNT, and for the USMNT it's pretty disappointing, okay? Panama, amazing result for Panama as they are g getting closer and closer to the top three, okay? And El Salvador, it is a pretty difficult result since... They they had a one 0 lead, okay. Costa Rica, amazing result, and for Honduras it just confirms another nail in the coffin, okay. Canada versus Mexico, amazing result for Canada, horrendous result for Mexico, okay. So looking at the table right now, Canada has blown on my expectations, okay. Canada has blown away my expectations. I didn't if I didn't expect them to be first in the group. And and be and and not have been defeated yet. Canada have not been defeated yet, and that is pretty surprising to me. Uh, the U.S. for in second, pretty decent. However, it's not the best as well since we are a horrendous team when it comes to playing away. Okay, with all the talent that the U.S. MNT has, I believe we should be a better team in the away than we are. Okay. Uh, Hopefully, Greg can fit, can find a way to fix that, okay, and get in better players, and not just Sebastian Jack, Colin Costa, and I don't know who the fuck else, is. Christian Aldon, Paul Riola. There are some players that the USMNT should look at and say, you're no longer in the squad, okay. Mexico, really disappointing, okay, really disappointing. If you're a Mexico fan, most Mexico fans expected their team to be at least first, okay, or at least second. Not, not, not losing to both Canada and the U.S. Okay. Yep, this is a very, very bad sign for Mexican soccer. Okay, Panama, blown out of my expectations as well. If you're a Panama fan, well, you, you guys, you guys are, you guys should be happy. Okay, uh, Panama have been playing pretty good so far, and I believe they are on track to make the World Cup. Okay, Costa Rica, heartbreak. What can, what else can I say? This is a sign that Costa Rica is an old ass team and they should look at to make another future, okay? The the Costa Rican golden generation is already over guys. Come on. Uh it's just about killing Navas and ten other bombs, okay? If you look at the Costa Rica team, let's just take a look at it right now. It's not even the best squad, okay? Costa Rica have a Joe their most brilliant attacking player is either Brian Ruiz and Joel Campbell. And I believe Joel Campbell is the younger one of the two, and, he, and he's in his 30s, okay? He's already starting to get old, and Brian Ruiz is by far old, okay? He had an amazing chance to score, and he, Miles Robinson so he caught up to him. Remember that game? The back line is as well old, okay? Costa Rica should look to re to rebuild, okay? Rebuild everything, okay? Uh, if <laughs> this was this was a pretty disappointing for Costa Rica, but still, 
you, they they can still make it. Okay, five points only, six games to go. Okay, if you look at Costa Rica, who are they going to be playing next for the next window? They're going to be playing Panama at home. Hopefully, they can win that game. Okay, because if we if we can beat El Salvador, which we should at home, okay, then we can then uh, Panama can we can further ourselves from from Panama. Okay, Mexico and Costa. Me, Against Mexico and Mexico sit in the in the Estadio Seca, maybe not. Against Jamaica and Kingston, they can rob, probably rob a point over there. Against Canada at home, Canada might be qualified at that point and might not give two shits about it. Look, you can get some points over there. Against El Salvador and Ecuador, you can get some points over there. And Costa Rica versus the U.S. This this might be the last game of qualifying, and the U.S. might be already qualified, so they might not give two shits too. Look at it. Costa Rica can still make it, okay? Jamaica, pretty disappointing, okay? But they have started off the window. They started off the World Cup qualifying campaign pretty bad. But they look like they're back on track. If you look at their recent performances, a draw against the U.S., a draw against El Salvador, a win against Honduras, a draw against Canada. They lost to the U.S. They drew against Costa Rica at San Jose, an amazing result for Jamaica. Honestly, he, if you look at the recent form, they can still make it, okay? Jamaica can, Jamaica are going to be playing Costa, they're going to be playing Mexico at home, okay? Mexico will not have Chucky Lozano, and they're coming off a pretty bad, um, pretty bad window. So they can at least get a draw, or they can try to get for a win. Against Panama and Panama City, I don't know. Against Costa Rica at Kingston. I believe they can get that win in that game against El Salvador at Kingston. Another another easy W, okay. And against Canada, Canada might be qualified at that point, okay. So yeah, and against Honduras at Kingston, yeah, the Canada Jamaican can still qualify, okay. El Salvador, this was to be expected, okay. A country as small as El Salvador. El Salvador pretty much not even in the World Cup at this point, okay. They're gonna be playing some friendlies okay against Ecuador and Chile that might be interesting they might try to make their squad a little bit more better okay but if you if you're gonna be saying is US at 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 the United States of America yep um no against Honduras or Honduras might not even give two shits at this point okay they might even not get even, even give two shits okay El Salvador will be going against Canada, and um, yes, my El Salvador pretty much lost at this point. Okay, so yeah, uh, Honduras again. What do you guys expect? Uh, okay, just play for pride. Okay, just play for like Honduras should try out young players or whatever. I don't know what they're gonna do, but. Hopefully it's something because Honduras are not qualified again to the World Cup, and this was a pretty disappointing, the pretty disappointing of your Honduras fan. Okay, the way they gave the U.S. a run for their money in the Nations League, and the way they they were performing in the Gold Cup before uh, Albert Ellis got injured, that got pretty some Honduras fans pretty hyped up, but that all that hype went down the drain, okay, because Honduras are doing really poor, okay. Uh, if the table should be changed, I believe the U.S. should be first, okay. Canada should probably be second or third. Panama, I believe they should, they will be fourth, okay. Costa Rica, I believe they will go down to sixth, okay. And Jamaica can probably go up to fifth or even fourth if they continue their, their recent form, okay. Okay, in these qualifiers, you need to pick up every single point, okay? And for me, I believe this this table will not stay, okay? It's a question if Canada can stay at the top for this long, okay? Because if Canada can stay in this zone over here for this long, the, the, we got ourselves a another juggernaut in CONCACAF for and right now at the moment, okay? Uh, however, I believe the top three should stay similar. However, I expect these zones to change, okay? Let's say Costa Rica and Jamaica push themselves even further and get up to Panama a bit. I believe there will be some changes here, okay? 
El Salvador and Honduras, they will stay in the bottom. That's, I'm going to be sure about that, okay? So, yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.